All your desires quenched, finished. No matter how much you love it, no matter how much I love her, no matter how much my wife loves her, she would never jump in there with her. People are covering you quicker and quicker and quicker. You're coming here quicker and closer than you think. You love your parents? You claim to love your parents? Okay, good. Now, fix up. Fix up. Don't wait till your parents have to die for you to start reading your prayers, to start reading Quran. Don't wait for a loved one to die before you have to fix up. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm here helping bury my mother in law. And I want to show you this process because it is indeed a process. I want to come and I want to show you this right now. Take a look at this. This is it. Make go off her and all the ones she has with it. This is someone's loved one. This is someone's loved one. This is someone's loved one. Someone's going to do this to you and I. How do we live our life? Our grave will be a reflection of how we lived our life. And she was a good woman. Wallahi, she was a good woman. I've never seen this woman not praying, reading Quran, doing some zikr, some adhkar. I've never seen her do anything but good things. I've never seen her head uncovered. Such a good, pious, good woman. I think it's best if I stay out of it. I don't want to step on someone's great beat. Again, you guys, the eagles are here. To all those who have lost a parent. Leave it. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. This is just burying my mother in law. This is the reality, guys. This is the reality. We're all making du'as. Please make, please make keep her in your du'as, please. Keep her in your du'as. This is it. This is our final destination, guys. What else do you want? What else do you want? This is it. All your desires quenched, finished. The taste of the mitti, the dirt of your grave is what's going to calm you down. I'm one of the family loved ones, so I get priority access. I'm back here. May Allah reward these people who are helping with the graves. But this is this is the reality, man. Like we have to leave over there. Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. Now they're gonna seal the. the grave. I can stay right there. Thank you. They're gonna seal the graves now. So take a look at that. This is a really cool system. I've never seen this before. They're sealing the grave. They're gonna put uh, these slabs right here. These slabs. They're gonna seal them like right over there. And it's going to lock in the, the grave. But obviously we're going to put the, the dirt. We're going to take care of all that sort of stuff, of course. Uh, at least I think. I don't know. Um, but, nothing's good people. <sighs> Speaking to my father-in-law, he lost his wife. What is that like, losing your wife? After how many years of marriage? 40 years of marriage? Wow. Wow, what is that like? I don't even know that they're lifting it up. Wow, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. They're sealing it. They're sealing it. These are the loved ones. These are the loved ones over here. Could wish there could be more, but because of COVID, we can't. This is it. This is it. Grave. The messengers also taught us that when when the body is placed in the in the grave, 
the person can hear the people's footsteps leaving. And when the last footstep is gone from the grave where they get to settle in in their new home, literally it's a new, they just moved into their new home. That is when the two angels will come and question them. We ask Allah to allow us to know the answers to those questions on that day. They're simple questions, but they could only be answered if you lived your life in accordance to those questions. What are those three questions? Tell me in the comment section below. You gotta live those questions. You gotta live them. Who's your creator? Who's your Rabb? Allah. But you're not gonna remember that. You can't have a rata. You can't do rata. You can't do rote memorization. No, 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 no. You have to have lived by Allah is your master, He's your maker, He's your Rabb. Next question, who's your Nabi? Who's your prophet? Who's your messenger? You can't just remember it. No, no, no. You have to live it. Did you follow the sunnah? Did you follow the sunnah? Did you adhere to the sunnah? Or were you like, oh, there is no sunnah, that's fake. Astaghfirullah, mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? What's your book? What's your book? The Quran. But how can you answer that when you don't even have a link with the Quran? You don't even have a relationship with the Quran. Yet, in your grave, you're going to... You're going to say that the Quran is your book that you followed? Who's following it? How have you followed it? How? How have you followed the Quran? How? Tell me. When we're not even reading it, Allah, not you, me, me, me. I'm pointing at me, me. I, I have not. I have not. I have not. I have to get better. This is, this is the, this is the reality, guys. This is the reality. This is our real home. You ever, remember what it's like to, uh, your first night in the room, in, in your new house? We just moved into your new house. But this is the official new house for us. I wonder what that feels like. But don't worry, yes, you're not going to have to wonder for long. You're going to end up one day. One day, you think it's going to be 80? No, it could be younger. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. But we ask Allah to accept from us. Accept from us. This isn't easy. This isn't easy. Make dua for my mother-in-law. Please, 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 please. Make dua for my mother-in-law. That's what it's really about. Make dua for my mother-in-law. What's going to help you in that grave? What's going to expand that grave for you? You know, our good deeds will join us in our grave. Did you know that? Your good deeds, your sadaqah, they're going to join you. Allah's going to, you know, you're not going to be alone in there. Your, your good deeds will help you. So do good deeds, guys. Don't donate to me. Don't donate to anyone. Don't donate to a masjid. Do good deeds. Do good actions. Do good actions. Do actions that you're proud of. Do actions that 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 that, that are good for you, that are correct. I think because of the COVID situation, the protocols are different now for like the burials. I'm, I'm not really sure. So I don't, I don't know what's going to happen officially, but I'm just here. This is an intimate moment in my life. I'm now having to help my my wife deal and mourn with something that I wasn't expecting to do. But this is this is a part of my growing up process. This is how you grow up. This is how you grow up, guys. This is it. You grow up. You're forced to grow up. There's so many kids who are burying their parents. Kids, they have to become men and women overnight. Men and women overnight. But guess what? This home of hers, only she, no matter how much you love it, no matter how much I love her, no matter how much my wife loves her, she would never jump in there with her. She would never jump in there with her. She wouldn't. She wouldn't jump in there. Why? Because we love you, but we know that's your home. This is still our 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 home. Some of us are still attached to this home. This is keeping us attached. The money. The money. No, 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 no. Don't taste the money, brothers. This, this is it. This is what's, this is the reality. This is the real money. This is it. The dirt. This is the dirt. This is the dirt. This is the dirt. This is the dirt. Now they're gonna put Mitty on top of this. But this is the currency. Huh? I can I can get closer now? This is the Mitty and the dirt. So now they're gonna put they're gonna put dirt. They're gonna put the Mitty on top of it now. Okay, he, he's the one in charge of all, of all this sort of stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come and help as well too, inshallah. I'm just gonna set the phone down for a second. Could you could you hold my phone for a second? It's already recording. Just keep it keep it running.
see this is the reality your loved ones who really love you are burying you the ones who love you the most are burying you and you believe that they're sealing you up the ones who bury you they're the ones who love you they're sealing you up you can't get out you can't get out you can't get out, can't get out. Can't get out. this is the reality guys this is your reality this is my reality when are we going to really become better when are we going to become better? When are we going to become... Look at my hands. This is the Mickey. This is what we're made from, guys. This is what we're made from. This is our reality. This is our reality. My clothes is all going to be left behind. My skin is going to decompose. You will too. This is a reality we have to face, guys. The ones that we love, we're burying them. This place is not for us. This dunya is not for us. This dunya is just a resting ground. It's a place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us. He's granted us goodness. He's granted us khayr. But we have to leave this. We have to leave our children, our mal, everything, our, everything that we love, we have to leave this. Look at this. Just a little bit. And look, it's already getting covered. People are helping you cover. People are covering you quicker and quicker and quicker. You're coming here quicker and closer than you think. You're closer to this than you are thinking. You think you're far from it, right? No. You're closer than you think. You are approaching your grave and you don't even know. SQ, you're so depressing. No, no, no. I'm being realistic. I'm telling you the reality of this. You want to search and make more money and everything. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is our final home. You see this? This is, this is, it. This is our final home. This is what we're made out of. And we have to bury our loved ones with it. Can you believe it? Can you believe that? What a system. That Allah is going to level the earth and raise us, resurrect us back from here and bring us in front of Him on the Arafat and we're going to be questioned on that day inshallah we are under his shade his throne his throne shade on that day bro. Wallahi. Wallahi. the ones who love you the most are the ones who are burying you they're burying you they're sealing you off who loves you you want to know who loves you you really want to know who loves you you'll know who loves you based on who's going to bury you you know who loves you really loves you based on those who actually read Quran on your behalf they make dua on your behalf. Your children, your sadaqah jariah that works for you when you are dead. This is your deeds working for you. 
You understand? People want to play Forex and stocks and blah, blah, blah. This is your deeds working for you. Your deeds are now working for you. This is it. You have earned every single thing for this day right here. This is it. This is why you worked your hardest for. Your life is worth for this moment right over here. Your deeds is the, is the currency that you've taken in with you. And depending on how many you've done, depending on the deeds that are happening outside of your grave, the trees you planted, the sadaqah, the orphans you sponsored, the Qur'ans that you've sponsored, the, the Qur'an, the knowledge that you've given to people, the people that you've helped, the, a, a, a pious child they're making the offer you, that is all. That is all that's helping me right now. That is it. So if you love your parents, this is the time to show them. You love your parents? You claim to love your parents? Okay, good. Now, fix up. Fix up. Don't wait till your parents have to die for you to start reading your prayers. To start reading Quran. Don't wait for a loved one to die before you have to fix up. And if this loved one dying is causing you to fix up, causing you to read your salah, if that is the case, Wallahi, may Allah reward them. This was the cheapest way. This was cheap for you to become a better person, for you to draw closer to Allah. Life has to move on. Life has to move on. This is the reality. The love of war, all these people. This is it. What does it matter? What clothes we wear? What brands we wear? What does that matter when we're in there? Your brand? You think Gucci matters in there? You think the Canada Goose matters in there? You think it matters in there? No, 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 no. no. And there matters your hasanat, your deed, your Quran, your salah. You think that murk matters in there? No, 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 no. What matters is, it's the sadaqah that you gave, the good that you did, the higher that you've done. So if you love your parents, if you claim to love your parents, this is the time to show them, prove it to them. Make their grave a comfortable resting place with your du'as, with your salah, with your Qur'an. Don't just read it for the 10 days, 40 days, or however you practice it, no. Read this for the rest of your life. Show them your love. Show them your real love and appreciation by becoming a better person, by getting closer to Allah, by obeying the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to bless us, to forgive us, and to allow us to drink from the hands of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in front of the Kawthar. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to recognize the message of Allah And we ask Allah to protect us from hypocrisy. Allow us to fix our lives up before we have to return back to the Qabr. And we ask Allah to grant a easy and good uh, resting place. And make the Qabr a piece of Jannah from the Rauda. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us, to forgive us. And please keep my mother-in-law in your du'as. I love and appreciate you all. And I pray that this video served as a reminder for you to become better and closer to Allah. May Allah SWT increase you. May Allah SWT bless you and reward you and forgive you and guide you and allow us to turn back to him before it's too late. Because in there it's too late. In there it's too late. But if you're up here, if you're up here, you have a chance. Don't blow that chance. Love you all for the sake of Allah. May Allah have mercy. Okay guys, the burial has taken place. Everyone has left. The messengers also taught us that when our footsteps walk away, the last footsteps walk away, that the, the person inside the Qabr can hear you. They can hear you. When the last footsteps walk away, that's when you're officially, officially on their own. So may Allah have mercy on us and allow us to answer these three questions uh, with, with ease. May Allah have mercy on us and make our graves a, a guard of paradise.